What's up, folks? I'm Don. This is Rockin' the Country. Uh, you saw the title. I'm taking a flyer here in some ways. It's for the Country Heart series, and this is a song that has always penetrated my soul in a, such a unique way. Uh, it's from the movie Bustin' Loose with Richard Pryor and Cicely Tyson, and I loved that movie. And the imagery of Washington State and all, it just, I loved it. And Richard Pryor is always funny in everything he does, but there were serious moments in there. But this song has always hit me deep. And I'm going to dedicate it. I don't think she's ever seen a video on this channel. But as a girl, I went to middle school and high school with her name is Pam. And I'm dedicating this to her because middle school can be a tough age. High school is a tough age. You're trying to see where you fit in in the world. You got your tough guys. You got your brain. Like, where do you fit? Athletics, whatever. The girls trying to figure them out. But Pam and I liked each other a lot. And um, we never dated. We never kissed. None of that kind of stuff. And But she always made me feel special and welcome. You know, I'd see her in the hallway and she'd come up and put her arm in mine and we would walk. And the guys were jealous of me just because cause she was beautiful and sweet, just smart girl. And uh, it just made me feel welcome. And this song, for whatever reason, has always made me think of her. And so, Pam, if you see this, I'll send you the link. I'm 61. I'm not going to say what you are now, my dear. but you'll know that you've always held a special place in my heart. Just like what you wrote in the yearbook to me, you wrote that very same thing, but you've always held that place in my heart. So this is dedicated to you, but this is for everybody because this song, the lyrics, absolutely have a country heart feel. Just hit me in every cell in my body. So let's see what it's like with headphones on. Just to set the stage here, too, like I already said, Pam and I never even dated. Um, but the sense of the song, there's something where if you could differentiate different types of loves that you have, you obviously have love for a child, you have love for a spouse, you have love for a friend. And that's the type of love here that I'm like, I know how to differentiate in ways here. But the song, just as far as the feel good. When you're in someone's presence, they make you feel welcome. They make you feel warm. They make you feel special. They just do that. And and Pam had that ability. And I can't imagine I was the only one that she was able to do that with because that's just who she is and her personality. But I just wanted to clarify that part of it. This is like a friend, friendship love that I have for someone that I haven't seen in years.
similar country so bass line. Wedding song too. this is done I'm commenting so you can hear this the pauses that she inserts in there creates a sense of like anticipation where is she going with it and then she delivers it flawlessly but even just those one second hesitations guitarists will do that sometimes and it's sometimes the notes that you don't sing or play and the gaps in between that make it special and Roberta has Every time I hear her pause, hear her pause, every time she pauses, there's something that hits me deeper. I, it just is, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Who knew that I'd be doing Roberta Flack on a country music reaction channel, traditional country music reaction channel later in life. I had no idea. It's sort of like a conflated time period, too, because this movie came out. I wonder if I was still in high school. It was close. And Pam and I, of course, went to high school together, and we worked at McDonald's together when they came out with these ridiculous green, fluorescent green uniforms. You do what you do when you're in high school. You know, they tell you to wear a uniform, you wear it. But there were like a lot of things going on at that time. And this and the feel of the movie itself with Richard Pryor driving these abandoned, abused kids from Philadelphia, like eight of them on a broken down school bus, all the way across country to Washington State. And it was funny, it was poignant, it was beautiful, the scenery, but the song has always stood out to me from that. And it, I don't know, we all have songs that bring us back to a moment in time. And sometimes it might just be like a wedding song that brings you back to that moment, that first dance, but others bring you back to like a five-year period when you listen to a Partridge Family song or something from growing up or a cartoon song. And this thing just always brought me back to this time frame of angst in high school and shortly thereafter. What a beautiful voice Roberta Flack had. And I, I think that even traditional country music fans, I mean, you may not go out and buy the album or you might, and all that, but I mean, it's a song that you're like, wow, that is a pretty song. I actually recommended it to a friend a few years ago when he was getting married. I was like, Jordan... You might like this song for your wedding song. It's just one of those things. 
Anyway, that's just a song really of gratitude for Pam and who she was, who she is, her heart, her soul, her being. Uh, she hung out with beautiful people. It was just a special, a special person. But this is a stunningly beautiful song to me, so I just wanted to do it. So it's my channel. I get to do things once in a while. That's going in the Country Heart playlist. All right, folks, maybe you've got people in your life like that. I'm sure you do. Have a great day. See you on another video. Keep rocking the country and songs with a country heart.